Um, now I have both uh, Grim Down and Cheat Engine, uh, both of them open. So I will do very similar procedures. First of all, I will first select the Grim Down, basically import the Grim Down into the Cheat Engine. Um, so Game Down is a game. Uh, Grim Down is a game very similar to the Diablo 2, I think, based on my own experience. But what I want to demo, demonstrate now is instead of doing a single player, I want to do it uh, online version. So I will go to the internet multiplayer and click start. So this is a new character I just uh, established, and I think it's um, right now it's uh, in level one or level zero. Level one maybe. Well, similar to Diablo two. Um, this bar is demonstrate the current experience. The current experience is five. So I will just put five here and uh, select the scan type as all and do first scan. Okay, so these are all the values associated with, these are all the memory address associated with the value five. And now the value change to be 10. I will change the value 10 here and do next scan. And still, there are so many values is associated with 10. I will just do further search. Now the value change to be 15. So I change the value 15 from the cheat engine and do next scan. So now there are only four values associated with, with 15. I'll just do continue on investigation. And now the experience become 25. And as you can see here, all these values previously has a value of 15. Now the value has changed to be 25. So these five values are uh, related with the uh, experience. Uh, I will change all these values so that I can have this character gain a lot of experience. Uh, now I will just make So as you can see here, the first value cannot be changed. Let's try with the second one. Also, the second one cannot be changed. Let's try, oh, maybe this is the second one. OK, it looks like by changing the second one, uh, both value has been changed to certain numbers. OK, I will do the same for all the values here. OK. Um, so as you can see here, now the values current experience is minus something and the uh, experience until the next level is minus something. Um, I will do the same thing. Try to kill one monster here. And you see you reached level 100. So um, I think from this experiment, I can demonstrate that um, overriding the memory address is not only working for um, for local local version local play game. It also works online for certain games. Um, um, lastly, I want to demonstrate how to change certain values in the game of umpires. 
I will just start with a standard game and select an AI as my op opponent and then start game. So the value I'm going to change is this um, wood stockpile and the food uh, food stockpile, food and wood. So the initial value is 500. I'm going to search these values uh, from the source engine, actually cheat engine. Um, so first of all, go to um, first of all go to the cheat engine and uh, import um, h of Empires. And keep current address list. No. Okay. Um. So, I'll, for the first number I'm going to search is 500. I'm going to do a new scan. Okay, here are all the 500s get shows up. Um, the first I, one I want to change is um, 500. This is the number of the wood. So I can Grayton? I can try to build some instructions. It will consume some of the wood here. Bolden. You see here now the number become 475. I will try to search 475 from cheat engine and hopefully I can adapt identify which memory address is associated to this number. I check give 475 here and do next scan. Oh, looks like there are only four values here. And I will just uh, do some further exp uh, Yay. Bolden. Now the value change to be 450. I go back to the cheat engine. And it uh, looks like all these four values um, change to 450. So I will change all these to be the value I expected. For example, this one, eight nights here. Nothing happens, and this value seems cannot be changed. Let's try with the second one. Still cannot be changed. Let's try with the third one. See, um, I already changed uh, the wood numbers. So I can do the similar trick for the meat. So I'm going to do a new scan, starting with 500 because currently the the meat number is 500. Uh, now I can just uh, by change this 500 to be another value by producing some villager. Now this number become 450. Just put 450 here and do next scan. And I want to further validate, um, actually further identify which one is um, 450 I'm going to change. So I just want to produce another villager. Now the value become 400. And see here, except the first one, the rest of four are all um, changed from 450 to 400. So these four values is I'm going to change. Um, so this time I'm going to change this value to be 
a smaller number like 100 so see if it works so the first one doesn't work double click The second one doesn't work. See, uh, if I change the third one, all these four values become 100. So I'm su successfully changed this number. Um, that's it. And um, hope you can enjoy your game. Thank you.